All right, so I'm going to connect with Bob Berg, who happens to be the author of an amazingly best-selling book, The Go-Giver. I'm using this to show you how I do a podcast. Watch this. So, Bob? Yes? I, I'm recording this, but watch. Okay, now I've just pushed the other record button because I'm doing a screencast of how I record a podcast. And so I'm glad I relieved you because I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable and that, you know, that your makeup wasn't on. <laughs> <laughs> but really, honestly, like the We're worse than that shirt all wrinkled. Oh, that's that's very important. But I, you know, what I was really getting at—it's too bad too because we had some funny bits. Um, was just that it's easy. You turn it on, you just go, and it's like, oh, well, let's just call Bob Berg, the author of this insanely well, be, you know, best-selling book, The Go Giver, and uh, it just went. Uh, but all I'm going to do with this—this this is a minute or so of video with you. And I'm going to put it in through this little system just to show people what it's like. And then you and I will come back. I owe you like a real live podcast to talk about where things are in the next book and all that. But. First of all, you owe me nothing. You have done a ton for me. So that I've just, I just always appreciate. Uh, hey, any uh, update on, on when the new season uh, of KTCO is starting or what? I think you've got a lot of us that are really missing it. You know, I appreciate that. And Joe and I just had a conversation the other day that we're very excited. What we're thinking about doing is we're just thinking about a couple different formats for it. And uh, with or without the Pulse Network, it, what we're going to do to make that an interesting show for people. So I promise I'll keep you posted. We'll have to drag you in as maybe the new format guest or something. Okay. All right. Whatever. Yeah. You're a hero that way. So I'm back to hanging up on you. I'm going to hit this button. Boop. And then I'm going to hit this other button. And I'm going to show everyone how to do something. And then I'll contact you later is that okay okay i've just got in i'm just going to be doing a skype interview from three to four today with someone but other than that i am totally free you're a hero i'll bother you later bob thank you thanks you're the best bye, right, bye that's it so i hung up on bob berg and we're going to go look at it so that should now be saved so I'm using this app called Call Recorder for Skype, which is a Mac-based app. And one of the actual uh, things that you use in it is something called Convert to MP3. So what I do is I drag the movie file that I just made with Bob down into here, and it spits this out, flattens the movie, drops it back into just an MP3 file, which gives me the audio that I need to do the podcast. So that's just going to take a few seconds. I see the little spinning beach ball of doom. Do, 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 boop. And then it's just going to update it. And for some reason, I guess it's going to launch iTunes for no good value for me. So hang on. And there it is. There's my MP3 file. Uh, I'll tell it iTunes to be quiet. Now I've got this MP3 file. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I, I have a little process that I go through. So the file that I just made with Bob, I'm going to throw in a folder that I have called raw. And raw is where these uh, video interviews go. I have a folder that's called MP3, and I'm going to put the full file with Bob Berg in there. I have two other folders. One is called GarageBand, and one of them is called Finished. So I can go into GarageBand, which is this application here, which is a Mac application for doing audio editing or yeah, and sound making and things of that nature. I'm going to delete a couple things that I had in here from the last. Oh, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save a new version. I'm going to call this one XX Bob Berg, just to make sure that people don't know that, you know, I don't pick it up later by mistake as a real episode. And so what I've done in here is I've got five different uh, areas right now. I've got my main speaking track. I've got where the interview is going to go. I have something called jingles, which is where sound effects and things go. I have an audio file that I've labeled podcast intro, and I have something called human business way intro, which is the intro to my show. So the way I do every one of my episodes is I, I make a little preview piece up here and I say something uh, kind of like this. The author of the book, The Go-Giver, and many other things, Bob Berg, who's been a longtime friend. What we're going to talk about today is how to shoot something like an audio podcast by making a video. Let's get into it. Now, that didn't really quite line up just right, but let's pretend it did, and it starts right into this. Let's get into it. Tell me. And so what I've done there is I've decided that I'm going to allow myself 10 seconds of preview before I get to the thing. So then when I get to the end of it here, I usually put some kind of a, a talking piece to let people know what I'm doing. I hit record. And what we're doing is we're going to talk to Bob Berg, and it's going to be really great. So then I just go and I find that file, which should be sitting there in the MP3 folder now. I move that out of the way. And I drag it here to where interview is. Now, one little thing I do right before I get into any kind of an interview is I've thrown a jingle uh, sound in here, and mine is just the sound of a tape rewinding. So I'll show you how this all kind of sounds together really quickly. I think you can hear this. 
you're gonna talk to Bob Berg and it's gonna be really great. Okay, now I've just pushed the other record button because I'm doing a screencast of how I record a podcast. And so I'm glad I really... See, and that's what I do. And then when I get to the end, I, uh, oops, I'll delete that. I get to the end and I have a little bit more conversation. So this is what the audio file looks like. We keep scrolling through for a little bit. It went longer than I thought. This was some old information off of the last one, but look how interesting that is. It lines right up. And so I'll have a little bit more conversation. I'll say, uh, yeah, and that was it. And I'm all done talking to Bob and it was really great and we're fun and let's get out of here. And I say a lot of other stuff. And then this music plays again and it plays this out. The minute I'm done with that, I hit share, export podcast to disc. I select AAC encoder because I'm trying to make it the more advanced podcast style. I make sure the audio is set roughly to spoken podcast. I also say to publish the art on this sort of a thing. And then I hit export. When I hit export, it says, where do you want it to go? I put it into number four folder, which is called finished. I hit save and that's where the whole thing is, is done. Then what do you do with that file? You take that file and you upload it somewhere. And in my case, I'm using a company called Libsyn, Liberated Syndication. And I'll just show you them really quickly. They are, you pay to have storage there and you pay to have a, uh, an account, but they do all different kinds of things for you, which is very useful. And so then if I decide I'm ready to publish something, I just get into their publishing system. I push this button here that says publish. I then have to title the podcast, add all this information in, and then make sure I hit publish. And when I do that, then it goes to all the various places like the iTunes store to the applications I have, all that sort of stuff. So that is how one goes about making a podcast. And that's the deal. That's it. That's everything I've got for you. If you have any questions, send me a quick email, chris at hbway.com. And thanks for giving me your time. Thank you.